Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Nicholas Lion Rider, and welcome back to Mystic Aquarium. So, uh, it's been a little bit, but I am back, and I am joined today with a returning host to Mystic, Dill, of course. What's up, guys? As well as uh, my other fellow uh, Rhode Islander, uh, Leaf. Um, Hello. And uh, Leaf is actually a, a, a veteran of Mystic Aquarium himself. I forget, so what were you in exactly? I forget the name of the camp, but it was basically like we got to go there all week and we got to sleep in like the main aquarium tank. That's pretty much all I remember about you it. You got to sleep in the tank? That's impressive. Not, not yeah. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Like inside. <laughs> I'm just imagining Leaf like in the middle of the the like open ocean tank or whatever. Or that, I mean, there was the little lobster tank that you could like crawl into, but. Oh, yeah, I do, do remember that. That was a thing. But, um, yeah, so I should probably address, you know, why Mystic's taken so long. Especially because it, it's just, it's like a recurring theme that whenever I say, hey, episode should be faster now, I always, like, have, like, a, a, a immediate hiatus. Um, so what happened here was the African Penguin, which is the star of today's episode, is, uh, was a very, very difficult mod to work with. I didn't really understand why it was so hard. But I had a bunch of issues, so it was the very first mod I ever made that was somehow corrupting games. Like, it would literally crash your game after uh, loading in, so it was super, super confusing. Also, you can see my really demented-looking dolphin statue here. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, it was really bad. Uh, we're going to ignore that for now. Um, but basically, uh, I was working on the African Penguin for the longest time now. And I wanted to get it out. I, I know I've been like teasing it for literally months, but um, you know, I was just having some issues. So Leaf actually, uh, you know, uh, helped me out. So now it's actually a new species, so you can actually download it. Uh, Leaf did all of the programming for it, so mm -hmm. I, I want to thank you for that. And oh, it took me that, a few tries. <laughs> yeah, no, like I said, it was the most cursed mod, and. What's funny is, um, by the time you watch this, this could be a thing or not, but Leaf and I accidentally stumbled on the next uh, Africa DLC that's coming to Planet Zoo, which has the African penguin in it. So the icing on the cake was the minute I'm about to release this mod, they actually, it, like, we accidentally find the, the African penguin is coming officially. And I'm like, great. So I did all of this work for nothing for like months. But, um, that's why I wanted to get this mod out, an episode out, as soon as I could. Just because I feel like the, the public's, you know, been waiting long enough. You know, so, obviously the mod will probably go down once it's officially, you know, announced and released and whatever. But, mm -hmm. for, the, for now, you'll have an African Penguin that you can use. Um, and I should also preface this by saying, uh, technically uh, Frontier has uh, responded and said uh, they have nothing to report if the African penguin that we found in the files has anything to do with an official con confirmation. So it is possible that this could not r be released, though I think it's rather likely. Um, so I thought I would just mention that little disclaimer. Um, so this habitat, let's actually talk about the habitat. I went way off scale of what I should have been. So, this is massive relative to what it is in real life. So, I was trying to make sure that I was going to be able to do all of the actual functional things. So, it's a super confusing habitat design-wise, because the entire thing is on a spiral staircase downward that goes to an underwater viewing inside of a tunnel, but the penguin actual drop-off area is up top. So, in order to accomplish this in Planet Zoo, you can see me, like, struggling, essentially, with the, the path system and the, um, the, the terrain system and the fence. It was, it, this was hell. I, I did not enjoy making this at all. <laughs> um, as you can see, it's, it's not fun. So, I had to, like, literally, like, glitch the game, essentially, by making the drop-off area on a little bit of land above the ground, designed the habitat so that you walk into the tank, even though it's not totally submerged. And then I had to design a tunnel underneath it that was going to be for the underwater viewing. So, it was crazy. But, I think in the end, uh, this was, uh, okay. I actually forgot when this was recorded, but it was definitely several months ago. Um, yeah. Probably right after the Aquatic Pack came out, I'd say. 
and I don't know if you heard that. That was thunder in the background. <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, it, it, it's raining right now. But I don't know. So uh, how do you, how do you guys like the African penguin habitat at Mystic? What, what would you rate it relative to other penguin habitats that have been around in New England? Um, I mean, I barely remember the one at Roger Williams, but you were showing off pictures of it um, earlier today. I mean, relative to that, I think Mystics is better. Um, and, you know, I'm going to say, I think it's the best one in New England. It's New England Aquarium's one. Although it's good, I, I think it loses points for me because it's, one, it's not outside, and two, it doesn't have underwater viewing. And underwater viewing is very important when it comes to aquatic animals, in my opinion. That's true, because I definitely think the, yeah, the, because I actually do like the underwater viewing at, at Mystic as well. It's kind of like, it smells bad, it's kind of dingy and stuff, but you get a really good look at the penguins, and they do, they're, because they're birds, they're kind of stupid, so they'll, like, come up to the glass and start pecking at, like, people and stuff, um, which is kind of funny. Like, it, it, it reminds me of, like, at Roger Williams, like, the African crown cranes. They'll, like, do the same thing. They'll just, like, come up to the glass and peck at people because they don't understand that there's glass. Um, but it's just funny, like, with the underwater viewing. Because um, I know in the past I've had, like, I, like, wore, like, a ring or something on my finger. And then, like, the penguin was, like, trying to get it. So it, like, kept, like, following my they hand. Love that. Yeah, it was pretty great. Um, and I do definitely, like... Because, yeah, I think I agree with you that New England's aquar New England Aquarium's penguins are... They have a good view, I'd say, like, from above ground. Because you can just kind of look down mm -hmm. on them and there mm -hmm. they are. But, um, yeah, I think underwater viewing would have been cool. I'm just not crazy about New England Aquarium's design overall. It's just a big circle or cylinder with the big They put a lot there. of stuff in that circle, though. That is true, I, yeah. Like, if yeah. you want variety, I think the New England Aquarium probably is more than Mystic. Though they don't have sharks, so I will always deduct points for that. Or whales. They don't have belugas, so that's another. Mm -hmm. Also, I, I love how this is just turning into like just roasting New England Aquarium. I don't like their harbor seal or their uh, sea lion enclosure. Their sea lion enclosure out back looks like a swimming pool, and the harbor seal enclosure looks like it like is a sandbox. It's so tiny. <laughs> Oh, okay. I should mention this. So I'm building the underwater viewing, and um, this was difficult, because um, if you didn't know already, so Mystic doesn't have a street view like something like Roger Williams does. Um, so I had to manually go in and get as many reference photos as humanly possible, and due to this, I had to be a super weird person and take photos of, like, the, like, everyone's looking at the penguins, and I'm taking pictures of the wall on the other side. <laughs> um, and so I, I did make it an effort to say that when I started this series in particular, I am not going one-to-one. -one. So this is going to be heavily inspired, basically a recreation of Mystic Aquarium, but it is not going to be absolutely precise like Roger Williams or, um, you know, anything like that. Because that would... That, that level is just impossible when you don't have something like regular access to the place. Like, I have my membership to Mystic, but um, it's so difficult to regularly go and stuff. Um, you actually saw me there. I was playing with uh, some of my old aquatic props uh, that I made for the aquatic pack that I never actually released. Um, the So the African penguin sign is going to get migrated over to my uh, penguin uh, sign pack that I'm making alongside uh, your uh, penguin mods leaf, so your hey, uh, little blue and your chin strap, as well as a few other people. Jorno did the um, emperor penguin, and a few other people have been uh, slowly but surely releasing all their penguins, so I'm just making signs for everyone. So the African penguin sign um, won't be available probably by the time that this video goes out, uh, but it will be released over time, uh, so you can definitely get that with your African penguins. So, uh, yeah, so as you see here, so this all, this portion right here is from an old live stream that I did, um, a few months ago. So I did the, the majority of the foundation where, as you can see, I'm placing king penguins at the time, but, um, they were a replacement mod version of the African penguin. So this was the old buggy African penguin that would cause your game to crash. Uh, so 
that was uh, an issue. So even though they looked fine, they had some issues behind the scenes. But uh, in a few minutes, we get to kind of modern modern day where I retouched up this habitat and uh, went ahead and did like the whole kind of surrounding building area, which I'll probably get to when we get there. But uh, this habitat was just such a pain to design. And I just can't wait until we get to the actual interior of Mystic, because, <laughs> um, which is going to have its own complications oh, anyway, because, the you know, Logic says, oh, just use billboards now for all the fish tanks, which is true. However, I, that means I have to go to Mystic and record every single fish tank. And, I mean, anyone who knows, you know, taking photos of glass knows that there's the glare issue. Um, Leaf actually went ahead and, uh, the last time he was at Roger Williams took some, uh, video of the black spotted piranhas at Roger Williams for me. And yeah, there was like no getting around the fact that like there's glare and it it's wasn't good. Yeah. It's humid. <laughs> so you get the reflection of like people in the background and that like, it's, it, it's a humid building. So like, yeah, it's just, it's not fun. Um, and then what I find funny is, again, this was before I had billboards, so, like, you can still see me, like, trying to make the sign as close as possible, or I guess it's more of a banner, um, and, like, yeah, it just, it wasn't working out, because it, it's close to what it is in real life, but still not perfect by any means. There you go, you see me placing down my African <laughs> penguin sign, um, as a, as a temporary placeholder. But now, uh, so that was basically that live stream. So now you cut to modern day. As you can see, I changed the color of the water immediately um, to reflect the new update. So the new update is really, like, weirdly enough, ever since Southeast Asia, kind of more catered towards aquariums than I think even the aquatic pack was. Because now that we have um, the color changed water and billboards and stuff, I feel like I'm seeing a lot more aquariums now than I ever did when we had the actual, like, Oh, look, we have diving and stuff. Like, no one even seems to care anymore. But uh, that's all changed. So uh, what I'm doing here is I was trying to kind of emulate... There is a tarp over the entire penguin enclosure. And I wanted to go for a more triangular look. But I ended up with just a square. Just because I can't make a triangle out of a square, unfortunately. Um, and then you see me here going through the actual... Um, I don't it's not a spiral staircase. What would you call it? Like a ramped staircase? Zigzag? Yeah. A zigzag. Yeah, so it's a weird zigzag, and like obviously I have to use the path system in the game, so like it's gonna add the little curb slopes and stuff. It was it was a mess. I, I didn't like this, so I had to try to cover it up the best I could. Still didn't look perfect, but I tried. Uh, of course we don't have the ability to use the plaster wall set as a standalone piece for some reason, so I had to, like, resort to primitive pieces for that. It was not fun. So, um, again, uh, the only advice I have is if you're going to do an accurate recreation of something, um, uh, just uh, try, maybe don't go one-to-one. -one. Uh, like, because it's so hard to, like, really pull off. Um, well, I know uh, Just Goron does it. He does it as well. He's my buddy. I respect him for Beeksbergen. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely think like Remnant or something, like doing like kind of like inspired by um, San Diego Zoo or SeaWorld or whatever is a lot smarter. Because um, here you go. Here's another great example. So I, Mystic outside of their penguin enclosure has like this little, I don't even know what it is. It's like a, like, I guess like an emergency box or something that I, I wanted to recreate. And it's oh. like, bright blue and yellow it's got like some sort of sign on it or something i don't know what it's really for it kind of looks like a pressed penny machine but it really isn't like but it's just hanging outside the actual entrance of the underwater viewing so i wanted to quickly create that and then i also quickly create some of the signs that are on the side of this building um now if i went to mystic recently I probably would have grabbed uh, billboards and just made these manually. And I, I still might do that if I do go back. I might go back, I don't know, sometime in the near future. I'll have to see um, now that it's getting like kind of warmer out and stuff. I don't usually like to go to the aquarium during the winter. I don't, I don't know about you guys, like, if you guys... Yeah, that's... I mean, it's cold. And... Yeah, like... Yeah. 
And you'd think that, like, oh, well, it's mostly indoors anyway. Why does it matter? But, yeah, I don't know. I just feel like it's not that appealing. Where, like, what's weird is, like, a zoo, on the other hand, like, I'm fine going in during the winter. But, like, an aquarium, I'm just like, eh, do I really want to go all the way there? Um, but, yeah, I don't know. There's mystics by the ocean, too, which just means it's going to be colder. True, you get that, like, cold breeze. And I'm, like, yeah. almost wondering if animals like the belugas or seals are, like, more active during the winter or not. But Ooh. I have no idea. Because I, I haven't really thought of that. But... Now, now that I'm like wondering, like if that is a thing, if animals like cause obviously the African penguins wouldn't, you know, people would be like, oh, penguins are like the cold, but they're African penguins. Uh, fun fact about the pool: I actually learned from one of uh, the mystic penguin keepers that the pool is a, a brisk sixty degrees Fahrenheit, so it's basically just a, a like a domestic swimming pool essentially. Like, if you fell in, you wouldn't, like, freeze to... I mean, it'd be cold, but it wouldn't be, like, you're gonna die cold or anything. It's rather warm, relative. Um, and so I guess next up, you're probably like, what are you even doing right now? So I am building the... My... Oh, God. The Miloni Science Conservation Center, I think. I, I forget the name of it. But it's a, uh, a brand new building that they kind of recently just built in the last few years. And it's basically to help with the their, like, kind of um, oceanography uh, rescue, you know, like, harbor seal programs and stuff. Um, and so it's a whole big, I, I guess, facility that's just in the back of Mystic Aquarium. Not accessible to the public, but um, it's just where they do a lot of their research for, like, rescuing animals in the wild and stuff. Which, I don't know about you, like, I feel like aquariums are a lot more active in doing that sort of stuff than zoos. I think it's, um, it's easier for them, I think. Because, yeah. Like, if you look at both New England and Mystic, they're both on the water and, and they're in the, the range of species that could need that help. Like, for example, the harbor seals. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Plus, I feel like the animals that they grab, too, like... They could just reuse the tanks and, like, all the pools and stuff for various animals. Meanwhile, like, zoos and stuff like that, it's a lot more tailored to the animal. True. In some cases, yeah. Yeah, because, like, I know that's kind of always a treat, too. Like, whenever you go to Mystic, you don't really know what they're going to have at any given point. Obviously, with coronavirus, you haven't been able to access the um, rescue center area, really. Um, but, it, and I think we might build that at some point, like it might be an off camera build or something, but they have like a little rehabilitation pool for seals. Uh, and sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes they'll have ribbon seals. Sometimes they'll have gray seals. Sometimes they'll have, um, harp seals. Like they basically I have every so type of seal essentially. Wow. Um, I need to go back then because yeah. I, it wasn't <laughs> open when I went. Yeah, no, exact. But it really depends on what I in the past, I know right off the bat. I've definitely seen ribbon seals there sometimes and um, uh, gray seals, but um, it's it's a little rarer. Most of the time, it's harbor seals, but they kind of have a dedicated harbor seal area, uh, which is closer to the interior of the building. So uh, we'll probably get to that maybe in the next episode. Um, I think I'll do that alongside the. Um, the Australian Outback Aviary. Oh, so yeah, this is it. The Miloni Ocean Science Co and Conservation Center. <laughs> it's a long mouthful, but it's kind of a cool building. I really like the aesthetic. I used it for um, an inspiration for when I was doing my marine park for the aquatic pack. But uh, I, I really like the color scheme of it. The, the blue, white, and gray aesthetic is... It's, it's very pleasant. I'll say that about aquariums. They have a nice aesthetic to them. Like, zoos are just kind of like, their aesthetic is just kind of like whatever. It's just, you know, okay, it's, you know, Africa area is going to have bamboo and thatch, and every other area could be brick buildings or something, or very modern. But aquariums across the board just have, like, a very pleasant kind of modern art aesthetic to them. And they like to, like, mix and match that kind of bluish color. But we are basically wrapping up today's episode, so uh, I want to thank you guys for being here, uh, as always. And uh, again, forgive me if the next Mystic episode takes a bit, 
because I've been very, very busy. <laughs> but um, I think in the next episode, we may begin the actual interior. Might do the exterior. I don't really know where I want to go yet. But thank you for watching. Here are the African penguins. I know you guys have been waiting for them. Uh, you can download them on Nexus today. They're a brand new species, so they're not going to replace anything. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Any last comments from uh, yourself, Leaf, or Dill? Penguins. Penguins, indeed. All right. <laughs> there you go. Uh, so thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.